Emotions running high during day one of the murder trial for the illegal immigrant accused of killing Kate Steinle. The 2015 shooting sparking the president's crackdown on immigration and the push for a border wall, which is about to reach a major milestone. Kelly Wright is here now with the new developments. Good morning, Kelly. Jillian, good morning to you as well. The trial opened with deep feelings of sadness as Kate Steinle's father gave dramatic testimony about his daughter's last day. The emotion in Jim Steinle's voice was palpable throughout the courtroom as he spoke fondly about the close relationship he shared with his daughter. He explained how they spent their last day together at the popular San Francisco Pier. Kate was fond of taking selfies, he said, even taking one moments before she was shot. He then tearfully recalled how they fell to the ground as he told the courtroom, she looked at me with her arms out and said, help me, Dad, and I grabbed her and held her. Today is about the Steinle family and the incredible resolve they've shown through uh, this entire process. And we're going to do everything we can to bring this family justice. Juan Francisco Lopez Sanchez is charged with second degree murder in the death of Kate Steinle. Defense attorneys will argue that Sanchez shot Kate by accident. Even as he told the police officers that he found the gun there and it was an accident, he told them, but bring me the papers, I'll sign the papers, in effect, declaring himself guilty. Compounding this senseless killing of Kate Steinle is the fact that Sanchez is an illegal immigrant from Mexico who had been deported five times before returning to the sanctuary city of San Francisco. Now, that sparked national outrage from opponents of sanctuary cities and illegal immigration. Two days after Steinle's death, then presidential candidate Donald Trump launched his push for building a border wall. And as the trial gets underway, NBC News gathered images of eight prototypes to be tested for building that border wall that President Trump is now seeking. Meantime, the trial is expected to continue four to six weeks. Jillian, Rob. Okay, Kelly, thank you so much.